So it's Willich Mike on Alright guys, so today I'm watching a video recommended by a subscriber, loyal family, check out this comment. So it is IPN TV The Unconquered. So um, I'm gonna check out this video and probably another video by this channel. And I don't know, has a million views, 58,000 likes, looks pretty cool, so got some pizza. And then I have a Tisky here. And look at this bottle opener. When I went to Zacopane, I got this. It's pretty cool. So, bad idea. Alright, I'm an idiot. So, anyways, so I got this out and about to watch this video. I'm pretty excited. Nobody thought the war and its effects would last half a century for Poland. Nostrovia. First, Germany attacks. Then Soviet Russia. We don't give up, despite being left on our own. We create an underground state, complete with a government, an army, schools, and This is cool. This is like we suffer really well done animation. The Germans murder millions of Polish civilians. The Soviets deport Poles and cattle cars to gulags in the east. They shoot over 20,000 officers during the Katyn massacre. And hundreds of thousands of Poles are forced into slave labor in the inhuman lands of the Soviet Union. Our army is reborn, moving west where our soldiers are already fighting alongside the Allies. We conquer Monte Cassino. Our fighters wreak havoc and fear by air, too. This is really well done. Jesus. The Germans call us Black Devils as we crush their resistance. I'm seriously getting goosebumps actually watching this. To occupy seriously. Poland to support the underground state, while our counterintelligence acquires secret plans of the enemy. There are Poles who save Jews despite the threat of the death penalty. We create resistance movements. What a fucked even up time. Within the German concentration camps. We are the first to alert the world about the Holocaust. Though politics appear to be more important than human lives. And nobody listens to us. Polish Jews fight the, the Germans in the ghetto Warsaw uprising. Ghetto without even a chance for success. Our nation comes up from the underground and fights in the Warsaw Uprising. Crazy, man. Break the German Enigma code, saving millions of lives. But in exchange for all that we do, we are betrayed. The free world distances itself from us, leaving us behind the Iron Curtain. Despite our scars from the war, we still resist. I'm getting goosebumps, seriously. I could almost cry. <laughs> the Pope gives us strength. Workers' strikes spread throughout Poland. The communists lose. The Iron Curtain falls. The war is over. We prevail. Wow. Because we do not beg for freedom.
Wow, I'm actually lost for words on that. That's crazy. It was a really good video. It was well done. Inspiring, actually, honestly. Wow, that's pretty cool representation, kind of the history and stuff. Um, you know, it's it's like, I always feel like I never even learned about any type of history with Poland in school at all. Uh, we barely even learned about it, so it's like, it's cool to see representations of the history now and stuff because honestly I never got, like even in college I still have, I've never even learned about Poland ever, you know, um, even when we brought up subjects about World War II we never even talked about it, so it's crazy when I went to Poland and then like seeing the concentration camps, um, I went to one of them in Lublin and that was crazy and it kind of gives you like that it kind of puts you in that real world situation of World War Two, and it kind of makes you realize everything that happened. I feel like this isn't really looked at now at all. I feel like it's just, you know, most of the time, um, the history, which was only, like, what, 60 years ago, was just brushed under the rug, you know? So, it's crazy. What a great video. I really like this one. Alright guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching. So, I just want to let you guys know that I'm upgrading my quality here on YouTube. I got some new lights, some background lighting, and this microphone. So I just want to ask you guys, what do you guys think about this setup? And I also wanted to thank you guys for subscribing. It means a lot. Um, I think over the past like 30 days, I got like 160 subscribers, which is crazy. So I really, really appreciate it. And I just wanted to thank you guys. So so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So uh, again, Jinkuya e Davitinia.